my name is Dave Jonasson and I'm a volunteer at Icelandic Roots. Um, I'd like to give you an overview of the database and some of the information that you can expect to find there. Uh, we're also working on a more advanced series uh, for members of the database where we talk in more detail about many of the features that I'm going to go over here. Um, we're going to start with the landing page that you will see uh, when you go to the database. You'll see that there is a search facility and an advanced search facility, but I'm going to cheat a little bit. I have a bookmark for my grandfather. So we have a picture of my grandfather and information about him. He was born in North Dakota. Um, he um, moved to Manitoba, served in the military, and then um, lived in Winnipeg for most of his life. Uh, information about his father and mother, and then uh, his wife and children. Here's a graphical representation based on the um, places that were in the above. And you can see that he was born in the States, moved to a farm on Lake Manitoba, and then moved to Winnipeg following. Um, here's information, uh, pictures when he was younger, a uh, document, uh, baptismal registry, and headstone. Now these links are hot links, so I can jump directly to his father, my great-grandfather. My great-grandfather, um, migrated from or emigrated from Iceland. So he was born in Iceland and he uh, actually uh, immigrated twice, once to uh, North Dakota and then from North Dakota to Manitoba. Here is information about him. Uh, there's a hot link to an article that was written in Iceland and other notes, um, his father and mother. And here we have more complicated information because he had multiple families and multiple children with different wives. Um, what you'll notice here is that this is a dynamic page, so the more information uh, you have, the more information uh, gets shown. Uh, this is a little bit more interesting too, the uh, Iceland and the North Dakota and the Canada. And I'm going to show you that you can actually drill in here. So you can um, drill into the actual farm, there we are, where he was, he was born. And... Um, Farther along, we have more pictures uh, at different ages, and we have uh, biography obituaries. This is a funeral address. We have information about the ship uh, that he uh, emigrated on. Now, I'm going to go up a little bit and show you some of these tabs up here, which really present this information in more valuable ways, uh, more interesting ways. So here, if you want to know somebody's family, um, here's my great-grandfather again and his parents, um, his wife, his wife's family, his wife's family's parents and children. Um, I'm going to go back and I can kind of show you in a different way. These are ancestors. Uh, by default it goes back four generations, but I think I indicated that there's about 600,000 people in the database. So this um, presentation can go back to Viking times. If I go the other direction, uh, this is um, descendants. and uh, this goes back to uh, to me. Uh, Timeline is an interesting um, presentation. Uh, this shows you uh, not only uh, birth of children and marriages and uh, immigration, all of the dates on a timeline, but also information about things that happened in North America and in Iceland around about the same time. Uh, this timeline information actually comes from this report here, and you can see that we have timeline information all the way back uh, to Viking times. I'm going to go back here, and here's another really interesting um, facility. It's a relationship calculator. Um, I'm going to go to an interesting people report, and I happen to know on page two we have um, number 54 here, 53, Leaf the Lucky. Um, when I was in school in Canada, we were taught about Leaf the Lucky and uh, his uh, finding uh, North America. And I'd like to know whether um, my great-grandfather was related to him. So we will just go back. And here is the relationship calculator. I will hit calculate and see that, uh, yes, we are related. We're not a direct descendant, but we have a common ancestor um, born in 845. And this common ancestor's great-grandson was Leif. And I guess 24 generations later, 
was my great-grandfather. So this kind of shows you how it all ties together. If you look on the menu, there's all sorts of interesting information. Uh, I'm going to open the media and the places links, media and the places links to show you that we have uh, abandoned farms and cemeteries, immigration ports, interesting places, Icelandic places, saga places, all sorts of information, uh, photos, headstones, ports, documents, churches, albums. So hopefully I've been successful in showing you some information about the database and hopefully you're interested in trying to see how you're uh, associated with a 600,000 person database, more about your ancestors and the information that, that is there. Um, the other side of this is that um, we would very much like to connect you and we would very much like to add information about your current generation so that we have a complete picture of the Icelanders and um, all of the people that migrated to North America and their descendants. Thank you.